What's going on, BFL fam? I'm Carlos. This is Oya. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today, we're going to be talking about a fragrance from a house called Essential Parfum, and the fragrance is called Divine Vini. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thanks so much for tuning in today. As always, I really do appreciate it and I hope that you're all doing fantastic. If this is your first time landing here at Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, I would love if you would consider subscribing to my channel. Why don't you go over and show some love to Oya at Oya Bar on YouTube, formerly known as Set Menu. Rebranded. <laughs> Oya Bar. And then when you're done with all that, come over here and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any future content that I upload here to BFL and a lot of times with the beautiful Oya Bar. Welcome, welcome everyone. Essential Parfum is a French niche perfume house that launched in 2018. They have six fragrances in total. The one that we're reviewing today is their sixth release. They've worked with a lot of uh, perfumers. Yeah, really good perfumers. Um, Natalie Graziecetto. Mm -hmm. They worked with, um, who's the perfumer on this one? Olivier Pichu. Olivier Pichu is the one that we're doing today. A lot of good perfumers. Calice Becker, yeah. I think Bruno, you know, Bruno Jovanovic. But they yes. work with very fine noses and they put out a product that is really well done at a not so expensive price point. Most of their fragrances retail for $75. Like the one we're talking about today, 100 ml of this one costs $75. They also sell travel sprays that are 20 bucks. So definitely a great value for your money. So here's the bottle that it comes in. I have one of my collections as well. I love it. They also, I wanted to add, because I've done a, a lot of research on a brand, mm -hmm. I own three fragrances by them, and they do sustainable packaging. So all their packaging is recycled, and when they give um, when they give the new, basically, project to the perfumer, they give them carte blanche. So that's really amazing in today's world where perfumers are usually kind of put it into the bracket of certain marketing and they kind of have all these boundaries that they have to work within. So these guys apparently just tell them you guys can do whatever you want, let the creativity roam. So basically the money's going into the juice rather than the packaging. Yes. The packaging is rather simple. Um, as a matter of fact, hold on a second, let me go get it. Keep it right there. I do my damnedest to be prepared for these things, but I always forget things. Tell them that I always have a million things on my brain. He does. And I don't finish one thing. I want to move on to the next thing before I finish the first thing. I know, and I'm always like, Carlos, we still got to do this and this and that. Carlos, <laughs> focus. All right, so the packaging that she was telling you about, here it is. Uh, can you see it in the bright light? But it's basically recycled. Um, this is like cardboard. The bottle sits in here. It says Essential Parfums Paris on the top. To open it, and also they give you... Um, the information on the uh, perfumer on the back. I'm so sorry the lights are so bright, but there's a picture of Olivier Pichu who did this one. And how you open it is you take this thing off, take out the bottle, you push it through this finger, which I couldn't find. See, like, <laughs> it's like a really tiny thing. I was like, <laughs> I was like, Carlos, just push it from the <laughs> hole in the back. Yeah, so yeah, so you're not a lot of fancy packaging, but you're getting good product. For the money Beautiful that you spend. Product. Beautiful product. I actually love this house. So this fragrance came out in 2019. Olivier Pichu is the perfumer. Third time, sorry, in case you didn't hear us the first two times. <laughs> <laughs> this contains notes of clary sage, cinnamon, black pepper, osmanthus, incense, pomerose, madagot, vanilla, tonka bean, cyan, benzoin, Texas cedar, musk, and patchouli. I love this one. Ever since I got it, I'm I've been free wearing it. Spray me, baby, spray me. A beer spray system. You get a department store spray. <laughs> Give me one more. Okay, fine. I love when they when they go. <laughs> can you smell it? No, give me more. Okay, that's it. Okay, Th there's no more spraying for you. Four <laughs> is enough. All right, here's my take <laughs> on this. Um, 
there's a lot of notes in this composition, but ultimately the the shining thing about this fragrance that I love, it's got that beautiful dry grown-up vanilla that's not sugary or syrupy or cloying or you know childlike or, or feminine. It's just really, really smooth. You smell the other notes, but it's just like little strokes. It's a dry vanilla all said and done for me on my skin, sure. and I adore it. You know, so I have to add something. For me, um, I love the opening blast of like a little bit of that peppery mm -hmm. opening, which I think counteracts that vanilla so beautifully. And then again, I agree 100%. It's not a sugary vanilla. It's in any way sweet. It does turn on my skin and it dries down a little creamy because of the yes. chocolate bean which I love. And I think this is one of the most masculine vanilla on the market because it is not edible. It is not gourmand. It's just one of those like woodsy, spicy, musky, a little bit definitely um, with a masculine appeal to it. And I love wearing it because as you all know, I love masculine fragrances. So for me, it doesn't stop mm -hmm. me, you know, but if you're, if you're expecting some sugary kind of cupcake vanilla from this, this is not it. This is very serious and very elegant. And not that there's anything wrong with uh, I I love a sweet vanilla on occasion I do too. in the I'm winter, like, but I'm like this no is it's, this is not that. This is not it. And I've said it a thousand times one of my favorite pairings in perfumery is uh, benzoin and vanilla. I just love that combination okay. so much. Very resinous brings out the beautiful darkness of the vanilla. So it has a little resinous thing going on, but it's not in the forefront. There's nothing smoky. The incense is more of a cold. Um, just a cold, um, that lemony kind of... It has a sprinkle of it kind of just like, in, it's like a shadow of an incense. Yeah. It's, it's not like a full-blown incense here. And it just kind of, uh, it, it brings out certain aspects of the vanilla that are darker and drier, mm -hmm. like you said. And the cedar, I think, is another note that plays... Um, I think it comes out more on you, the cedar note, than it does on me <laughs> because I bring out... Things the were totally different on yeah, which our is skin. Great. Which is great. Like sometimes for us to uh, meet in the middle, we have to spray it on strip because... I know, because otherwise <laughs> we don't agree. I'm like, no, it's going creamy. He's like, no, it's going this one. I'm like, no. <laughs> so this is real nice. $75 a 100 ml bottle. It's you can't steel. go wrong. And definitely, if you're interested in this one, or if, you, if, or if you don't like vanilla, definitely do check out Essential Parfum. They have a great assortment. Oh, uh, the bergamot. The, the nice bergamot. bergamot. They have a vetiver. A great vetiver. It's like really, really kind of almost like milky and incensey. It's so good. And a, then, a spicy rose. Oh, they have the rose. Yeah, the magne magnetic rose. Magen magnetic magnetic. I think it's called. I have. I have it. Oh my god! I should remember to cut it out. Well, it's a rose. In case it's not magnetic, <laughs> don't quote us. <laughs> but it's a beautiful rose, and I just think that the whole line is honestly gorgeous. I think they they make amazing quality fragrances. Seventy-five dollars for a niche fragrance, hundred ml bottle, is literally unheard of. There's not one other fragrance in the niche land that can match this kind of pricing. Just, there just isn't. I think this is a vanilla that you can wear year-round. Yeah, hundred percent. Even in, in the, the summer. Office. It's like very, it's like very office-like, you know? Usually it's it, hard to wear vanilla, I feel like, to the office when it's too gourmand, but this one is perfect. It's not to say that it's safe and boring, it's just, um, it's got subtle complexity about it, and it just, it just works. It's a really nice vanilla. If you enjoy vanilla, definitely do check it out. Almost How long do you get on your skin? So for me, on my skin, I get about six hours. It projects very well for me, and I wear it in my hair, so it projects even stronger, but you gotta test it out on your skin, because we all know. I, I'm, I'm like on. five to six with the first hour, hour and a half projecting the most. Yeah. But you always get those whiffs, you know, as you, uh, you know, go to about me, your day. If you're familiar with uh, La Lique Le Parfum, which is one of the most beautiful kind of also much. It's, I think that one is much spicier. But just for you to feel out the direction like of that beautiful, dry, darker vanilla, then I think you'll understand kind of the direction this one going because I'm picking up almost on like a little subtle tobacco note, mm -hmm. but it's very like suave for me. You know, it's one of those like really smooth type of um, fragrances that I adore. I think this is awesome. So that is all we have for you today on Essential Parfum, Divine Vinny, short and sweet like I always do. We do hope that you enjoyed and that you had a good time with us today for the five to seven minutes that this video is. Hope we'll catch you on the rebound. Until next time, you take care, stay blessed, <laughs> and we'll see you at the next video.